Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about the five biggest mega projects in China that actually worked. China has been known for its ambitious infrastructure projects that have transformed the country over the last few decades. They've got some really awesome content. And if you want to stay up to date on all their latest videos, you should definitely subscribe to their channel. There is some really amazing content here. And if you want to stay up to date on all the latest videos, then you should definitely subscribe to the channel. So let's get started. The Three Gorges Dam is a hydroelectric dam located in the Hubei province of China. Construction of the dam began in 1994 and was completed in 2012. The dam is built on the Yangtze River, the longest river in Asia, and is the largest hydroelectric power station in the world. The Three Gorges Dam is an impressive feat of engineering. It is 2.3 kilometers long, 185 meters high, and 115 meters wide at its base. The dam contains 32 main turbines, each capable of producing 700 megawatts of power. The total capacity of the dam is 22,500 megawatts, making it a significant source of electricity for the country. The dam serves several purposes. First and foremost, it generates clean energy for millions of people in China. It is estimated that the dam produces over 100 billion kilowatt hours of electricity per year. The dam also serves as a flood control mechanism, helping to prevent flooding in the region. In addition to its practical purposes, the Three Gorges Dam has become a tourist attraction in China. Visitors can take tours of the dam and learn about its construction and operation. The dam is also an important symbol of China's modernization and technological advancement. The construction of the dam was not without controversy. Critics raised concerns about the environmental impact of the dam, including the displacement of millions of people, loss of habitat for wildlife, and the disruption of natural river flow. Despite these concerns, the Chinese government moved forward with the construction of the dam. Overall, the Three Gorges Dam is an impressive and significant engineering achievement for China. While there are ongoing concerns about its environmental impact, the dam has provided clean energy and flood control for the region and has become a symbol of China's technological advancement. The Beijing-Shanghai High-Speed Railway is a 1,318-kilometer long high-speed railway that connects China's capital city, Beijing, to its largest city, Shanghai. The construction of the railway began in 2008 and was completed in 2011 at a cost of approximately 220 billion yuan, about 33 billion US dollars. The railway is designed to operate at a maximum speed of 350 kilometers per hour, 217 miles per hour, and is the fastest train service in China. It consists of 24 stations, including five major stations in Beijing, Tianjin, Jinan, Nanjing, and Shanghai. The railway is capable of carrying over 40,000 passengers per hour and has significantly reduced travel time between Beijing and Shanghai from over 10 hours to just 4.5 hours. The Beijing-Shanghai High-Speed Railway is one of the most advanced and sophisticated railway systems in the world. The trains used on the railway are equipped with cutting-edge technology, such as automated train control, active suspension, and crash energy management systems. The railway also features state-of-the-art signaling systems that enable precise control of train movements and help to ensure safety. The railway has been a major boost for economic development along its route, connecting major cities and business centers, and promoting trade and tourism. The railway has also helped to reduce air pollution by providing an alternative to air travel, which is responsible for a significant amount of pollution in China. Despite its successes, the Beijing-Shanghai High-Speed Railway has not been without controversy. Critics have raised concerns about the high cost of construction and operation, as well as the environmental impact of the railway. However, overall, 
The railway has been a significant achievement for China's infrastructure and transportation systems. The Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, also known as the HCMB, is a 55 kilometer long bridge tunnel system that connects the cities of Hong Kong, Zhuhai, and Macau in southern China. The construction of the bridge began in 2009 and was completed in 2018 at a cost of approximately 120 billion yuan, about 18.8 billion US dollars. The HCMB is the longest sea crossing in the world, and the main bridge section of the system is 29.6 kilometers long. The bridge is designed to withstand strong typhoons, earthquakes, and other natural disasters. It is also equipped with a series of advanced technologies to ensure safety, such as an intelligent transportation system that monitors traffic and weather conditions in real time. The HCMB has significantly reduced travel time between Hong Kong, Zhuhai, and Macau from over four hours to just 30 minutes. The bridge has also improved connectivity between the three cities and promoted economic growth and tourism in the region. The HCMB has also been a major engineering and technological achievement for China. The bridge required the construction of artificial islands, the use of advanced materials, and the development of cutting-edge technologies. The project involved over 400,000 workers and required the use of over 420,000 tons of steel. The HCMB has not been without controversy, however. Critics have raised concerns about the high cost of the project, as well as its environmental impact on the surrounding sea and marine life. Nonetheless, the HCMB remains an impressive achievement for China's infrastructure and transportation systems, and a symbol of the country's technological advancement. The Shanghai Tower is a 632-meter, 2,073 feet, skyscraper located in the Lujiazui Financial District of Shanghai, China. It is currently the second tallest building in the world, after the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, and the tallest in China. The tower was designed by the American architectural firm Ginsler, and construction began in 2008. It was completed in 2015, at a cost of approximately 2.4 billion US dollars. The Shanghai Tower is a symbol of China's rapid economic growth and technological advancement. The tower's unique design features nine cylindrical sections that gradually decrease in size as they rise, creating a spiraling effect. The tower is also equipped with advanced technologies and features, such as energy-saving systems, high-speed elevators, and a wind tunnel that reduces wind pressure on the building. The tower has 128 floors, with a total floor area of 420,000 square meters for 0.5 million square feet. The tower is primarily used for office space, with a number of multinational corporations and financial institutions having set up operations within the building. There is also a luxury hotel, conference center, and observation deck on the upper floors of the tower. The tower has been a major achievement for China's construction and engineering industries. The tower was built using advanced construction techniques, such as a slip-forming method that allowed for the continuous pouring of concrete, and a mega column system that provides additional structural support to the building. The Shanghai Tower has received numerous awards and accolades for its innovative design and sustainable features. It has also become a popular tourist destination, with visitors from around the world coming to admire the building's unique design and enjoy the panoramic views of Shanghai from the observation deck. The Shenzhen Hong Kong Innovation and Technology Park ship, is a joint project between the governments of Shenzhen and Hong Kong, located in the Qinghai area of Shenzhen, China. The park was established in 2016 as part of China's efforts to promote innovation and technological development and to strengthen collaboration between the two cities. The ship covers an area of approximately 1.2 square kilometers, 0.46 square miles, and is designed to be a world-class innovation and technology hub. 
The park is home to a wide range of companies, including startups, research institutions, and multinational corporations, with a focus on industries such as biotechnology, artificial intelligence, and robotics. The park is equipped with advanced technologies and features, such as 5G networks, cloud computing, and big data analytics, as well as a range of facilities to support research and development, such as laboratories, testing facilities, and incubation centers. The park also offers various incentives and policies to attract and retain talent, such as tax breaks and visa support for foreign workers. The ship has been a major success, attracting a large number of companies and startups to the area and generating significant economic growth and job opportunities. The park has also helped to strengthen collaboration between Shenzhen and Hong Kong and to promote the development of the Greater Bay Area, a major economic region in southern China. The ship has received numerous awards and accolades for its innovative design and sustainable features. It has also become a popular destination for visitors from around the world who are interested in technology and innovation. The park is expected to continue to play a major role in China's efforts to promote innovation and technological development and to drive economic growth and prosperity in the region. And there you have it, the five biggest mega projects in China that actually work. China has demonstrated its ability to execute ambitious infrastructure projects and transform its economy and society. What do you think about these projects? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this.